Hello, it's Amy from Be Healthy Enough, and today we're embracing a revolutionary approach to fitness that's perfect for us women over 50. It's all about taking small steps to get big health gains. It's called exercise snacking. These are short, impactful activities you can easily integrate into your daily routine. We're not gonna be in the gym, we're gonna be around the house, so let's get ready to snack your way to health, one movement at a time. Yes, I'm always preaching about getting a full body strength workout at least two times a week, good core workout, Pilates, posture, balance, getting some low impact cardio and some impact cardio for your bone health, but moving more throughout the day, I'm learning has almost just as much of an impact as those strength workouts. And that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about exercise snacking. Exercise snacking isn't about the lengthy, intense workouts. It's about the power of incremental movements and making every step count. As we age, staying active becomes even more crucial and these exercise snacks are the ticket to maintaining vitality and independence. Before we dive into our first snack, let's talk about the benefits of exercise snacking. Research is now showing that spreading mini workouts throughout your day can significantly improve your cardiovascular health, enhance your bone density, and keep your mind sharp. It's not just about avoiding health risks though, it's about embracing a lifestyle that's full of energy and movement and joy. Our first snack takes place right here in the kitchen while waiting for your tea or coffee to brew. Let's do some kitchen counter calisthenics. The first exercise, toe raises, stand straight and tall, shoulders back and down, abs slightly engaged and lift your heels, feeling the stretch in your calves. Great for your feet, your ankles, your calves. Now let's try some counter push-ups. Lean against the counter and push your body away. Back is nice and straight, neck in line with your spine, abs pulled in. Go only go as low as you can. I'm not going very low because I'm still recovering from my breast cancer surgery. Next, let's try some side leg lifts. Holding onto the counter, lift your legs sideways and then lower it back down again. Posture nice, shoulders back and down, abs pulled in. Feeling the side of your leg work. I'll do about 10 there. If you'd like 10 or more, I think I'm doing a little bit more, don't forget the other side. You will get some work in both the standing leg for balance and the leg that's moving. Next up, we're turning our living room into our workout space with living room lunge fiesta. Let's get those muscles working with couch lunges. 10 repetitions each leg. Use your couch as support to hold on to keep nice form. Back's nice and straight, abs pulled in, shoulders back and down, trying to get that back knee down to the ground, front knee stays over the ankle. Don't forget to do the other side. I think I'm doing about 10 here. I'm not going that low, but definitely feeling my legs waking up and working. <laughs> Now let's do some armchair abs. Sit in a chair, back straight, leaning back and lifting up one knee. If this is too difficult, you can lift up one knee at a time. Oh my gosh, this really does focus on your abs in a short amount of time. You can do 10 to 12, whatever feels good for you. Next, grab a pillow. Let's do some inner thigh squeezies. Any pillow will do. Put that between your legs and squeeze and hold for a pulse, feeling the inner thighs work. The inner thighs are waking up. They're an important part of our overall leg health. Ready for some more? For our final snack, let's transform our office space into a workout zone with office chair Olympian. Here's what you can do. Chair squats. 
Stand up from your chair and then lightly sit back down. Remember again, abs slightly engage, shoulders back and down. I'm crossing my arms here to make it a little more challenging. You could, if you need to, use the armrests to push yourself up. You could make it even harder by not coming and sitting down all the way, just tapping your butt. I did not do that here. My chair was slipping away from me. Make sure your chair isn't on wheels and doesn't slide out from underneath you. Next are desk push-ups. Place your hands on your desk for support and perform a push-up. We did these in the kitchen. Again, challenging, keeping that back nice and straight. I'm really tired here. <laughs> I can't go down very low. Keeping that neck in line with your spine, abs pulled in. Last move, you're not going to be able to see very well. They're called seat squeezes. Just sit in your chair comfortably. I like to have my back nice and straight, abs in, shoulders back and down. And you're going to squeeze everything in your glute area, your hip area for about two seconds and then release. You're going to do this about 10 times. This is excellent for your pelvic floor and waking up those glute and leg muscles. That's it. Three ways you can fit in a quick exercise snack all around your house. No excuses. I've been doing this since the beginning of the year and I'm noticing a big impact on my joint health. If I sit too long, it takes some moans and groans to get off that chair. But now if I set a, a timer for about 30 minutes to an hour and actually get up and move, my joints aren't hurting as bad. There you have it. Every exercise snack you do is a celebration for your health and vitality. Remember, it's not always about the intensity, it's about the consistency and the joy of movement. Make it fun. If you'd like access to dozens of exercise snacks, you can do anywhere at your fingertips with our Apple and Android app. Check out Be Healthy Enough. You can try all of my exercise snacks free for seven days along with over 500 full-length workouts designed just for us women over 50 and start transforming your daily routine into a fountain of youth. Your journey to a more vibrant, active life is just a click away. I can't wait to see you in the next video.